ladies and gentlemen, I am so sorry for the lack of videos lately. But don't worry, because we're back, and stronger than ever, with a Team Plasma Mega Kangaskhan deck. <laughs> That's right, we're going to be using Team Plasma Badge, along with Umbreon to boost up uh, Mega Kangaskhan's already ridiculous 230 HP, and then we're going to use Hydreigon basically as a, black, a darkness version of uh, Aromatis to kind of move uh, energy around. And then we're going to use Darkrai for free retreat, Thunderous for energy acceleration and to deal with Evil Tall since we will also be running for Rainbow Energy. And to get rid of pesky uh, fighting type Pokemon that wreck both Darkrai, uh, Kangaskhan, and I'm pretty sure Umbreon as well. Yeah, Umbreon as well. We are going to be playing Shadow Circle, which each Pokemon has any darkness energy attached to it, has no weakness. So that's the main premise of the deck. Otherwise, we're also running four max potions, similar to uh, what you'd see in Aromatis' deck. We've got two Professor's Letter, two uh, Rare Candies to go with our Dragon. I also have a One's Wheelist, just so I can uh, avoid any item lock kind of nonsense. One Sacred Ash, because if we start losing key components, if we, our Umbreon start getting, our Eevee start getting knocked out early, getting picked off, we have a way to get those back in. Three Skyla, three Juniper, two uh, Pokemon Fan Club, three N, one Lysander. And then we got a 10 energy total of 6 basics and 4 rainbow energy. And yeah, we had 2 uh, colorists as well. Uh, yeah, I don't know, this deck's been pretty iffy again so far. If you Like I found that if you miss an energy attachment early on, it's really painful. That's why I definitely include, I highly recommend you include the 2 professors letter. But another really cool combo with this is you can uh, attach a darkness energy to Eevee to evolve it to Umbreon, move it to your Kangaskhan. Very, very fun combo. And I found that I kind of need to run two Darkrai just because of one's prize that no retreat on a three retreat cost Pokemon really hurts. And it just, like, just helps me switch things around so much easier. But anyway, that's it for this half of the video. I'll see you in the arena. All right, it's time for some Kindred Kick to the Face, I think. So I also, if you guys have been noticing for just about all my videos, have not been including any uh, A-Spec cards. For this one, I'd either recommend a Super Cyclone scoop up thing or uh, like obviously your more obvious auto includes uh, like um, computer search or dowsing machine. Okay, going second against a call for family, uh, Kangaskhan fire deck. I don't know, this might just be like a little mini basics deck. We'll have to see what we got so far. Um, I don't like any of this, so I'm probably just going to end this all away. <laughs> uh, do I want to do rainbow energy now? I don't think the 10 damage is going to be as pertinent later on and yeah let's just end this all the way so we can get some more basics in play here that's a little better I'll take you I'll take you and I will triple draw see what else we can get going here there's our badge there's our thing we move to the Eevee and we really just need a, a Dino in play right now so we can start I could have Skylet for the oh I wonder if we could no no I wouldn't work either okay yeah Skylet for uh, rare candy for this oh red card don't see you very often but I hate you very much <laughs> right on Okay, so we got a Pyroar Big Basics deck, maybe? Oh, Squirt on the bench. Screw that idea. <laughs> I don't know, Rain Dance on top of that? I couldn't really see it. Or I guess Deluge in this set. Comp Punch for 40. Ouch. <laughs> Not really, though, because we're going to have stupid amounts of HP right away. Um, I don't need any more energy on you right away. I think we're just going to go you, you, and then... Hmm. Yeah. And see, so yeah, Pokemon Fan Club for a Dino, and I think... I think that's all we really need, but I might as well get an Eevee on the bench. I didn't even look. I should have looked right there for uh, see how many Umbreon I have. If I actually do have uh, three Umbreon and one's not prized. And we'll Kindred Kick. Or no, Triple Draw. There you go. <laughs> oh, there's our Shadow Circle, but I don't see any Fighting type Pokemon anyway, so that's not going to be as important. I just really need a Team Plasma Badge right now, because I can start getting some more... Oh, Scramble Switch. Uh-oh. That's going to be nasty. Giga Frost for 150. Yikes. <laughs> well, that's knocked out for us. Uh, Darkrai, I guess. Yeah, that's probably the best option. That's two prizes for my opponent already. That's, yeah, that's pretty crazy. Yes, it does have to discard two water energy, though, so that's going to be interesting. And we also have... Uh, yeah, it's just you, you. We also have N, so that'll knock his hand size down. Not exactly all that impressive right now. Anyway, but just in case he drew some good prizes, we're going to shuffle that all the way to you, and we run four Team Plasma badges, so we don't have to worry about, like, oh, only attach that to Kangaskhan, because we need him most. It's not that case at all. Uh, Skyla for Rare Candy next turn, and we might be able to Night Spear if we can draw an Energy or something similar. Unless we draw a Rare Candy instead, or if we don't even have a Rare Candy, because I haven't been checking my cards again, like a total noob. <laughs> it's just so much easier to do in the actual physical card game, just to be, like, looking for something, quickly flip through your deck and see it. 
Energy retrieval, 30. Okay, that's not as big a deal. He can't even one-shot us right now. There's our another Team Plasma badge. Um, huh. Do I want a Juniper this all the way? Not really. Okay, we'll just uh, get a High Dragon on play. Okay, let's see what else we got. We got our uh, Max Potions. He's going to... Oh, we should actually... Yeah, no, he, he can't knock us out next turn with that. So let's just move some energy around. Keep them off uh, the Dark Cry for now anyway. So let's just get uh, High Dragon into play. And don't really want to attach us anywhere. I am probably going to Juniper next turn, and we will in turn. Hope to draw Max Potion because he is probably going to hit us for the 150 again. A ridiculous 150. Yep. Let's see if he just attacks. He's got anything else. There's a Pyroar, which doesn't really affect us because we will see. Well, we're trying to attack the Mega Kangaskhan. Sometimes it doesn't always work out that way. Uh, another Dark Cry. Don't care. I want to attach this for you. Might as well onto the Hydreigon, because so we're just going to discard it anyway. Juniper, max potion, please. No max potion, but we did get an energy. Where do we want to stick it? Um, Night Spear's not even going to knock him out. We're just going to get killed next turn. Maybe with my power up Hydreigon? Maybe? For 140. I have to discard two darkness energy, which is pretty annoying. Um, or we can get a Kangaskhan play. Yeah, maybe we should do that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He can't even do the Mega Attack next turn. Yeah, hmm. Well, let's get our Darkness Energy anyway. Ultra Ball for something. So he can't do his big shooting me crappy attack, but Outrage will kill us anyway. Um, do we have any energy in our discard that we can start using with Thunderous? Yeah, we have a Rainbow, but nothing to really attach it to unless we get our Kangaskhan. Yeah, why don't we do that? Okay, so we're going to go... Thunderous. Energy onto Darkrai. At least we won't be attacking with him anytime soon. Oop, oh, what are you doing? Uh, let's see the list again. Retreat. Thunderous. Move. Dark Trance. Onto the Thunderous. And I forgot to put a Kangaskhan on the bench. <laughs> oh, well. So I guess this is going on to Hydreigon. Well, that was a bad play. Oh, well. Um, Ultra Ball for an Umbreon, I guess. Get rid of these two darkness because we're going to be accelerating that darkness energy anyway. And no more Umbreon, so I guess we're just going to keep this in our hand for now. Okay, Thunderous Raiden Knuckle, and we'll stick a rainbow energy onto Hydreigon. So now, yeah, we have a kind of turn to breathe, so to speak. Yeah, so this will be 60 from the, that. Okay, these are 140, 150, yeah, 140. Ugh, okay. Um, can we? Nothing has lightning resistance or weakness. Do you want to start working on that Pyroar? Maybe which has the highest retreat? Either the King or the Pyroar. Or the Reshiram, but that is Outrage, so I don't want to do that. Um, let's Lysander out the Pyroar. Let's get a crap ton of energy in play. And then probably Skyla for uh, Max Potion and start attacking with Darkrai. I think it's going to be the plan. Oop, hang on. Let's not do that. Uh, attach another one to... I guess a dark if we're going to be taking energy off him anyway. It doesn't really matter where we stick it, just wherever the energy is going to be coming off. Might as well put on the dark Darkrai. Uh, hopefully you can't catch that out somehow. And on to... Yeah, Hydreigon again. Damage doesn't really matter on the Pyro that I didn't hit him. I'm just looking for energy acceleration to waste a turn. It would be really nice to be able to do that with our uh, the Mega Evolve. He's got a fighter energy, ends the turn, so we're going to, hmm, do you want to end instead? How many cards? He's four anyway. Now we'll Skyline instead. We'll end, we'll end next turn. Uh, max Potion. Yeah, because we really need that for now. We will Dark Trance off the Dark Cry. Max Potion. Oop. Where's the thing? Done. I was going to say, it's not going to let me pick it now. <laughs> yeah, I like how Dark Trance is also like, yeah, he doesn't have any energy good. It's also like the, um, treat first. Oh, it's Pyroar. I can only hit for 30. <laughs> what am I thinking? Oh, well. Um, yeah, this would leave my guy vulnerable. Oh, it does have 190 health. Oh, we'll do that next turn, maybe. You know, Dark Trance is also like uh, Dust Noir's ability. Now, Sinister Hand, that's what I was looking for. And that it can... Ooh, no, I don't think we want that. Let's just keep the basic ones on there, just in case he does have a crazy way to knock us out next turn. We want to keep our uh, different colored energy so we can attack with High Dragon. Um, done. Yeah, Night Spear for 30, and we're going to hit the Squirtle. So no matter what he has next turn, we can kill something at least and start taking prizes. 
Oh, I can't believe I didn't notice I still had full bench space of that thunder. So that was a really stupid idea. <laughs> okay, so we're killing something. Darkness energy onto Eevee, but no uh, Umbreon. Maybe we'll get that off the prizes. N. What do we get? Another max potion. That's okay. Night Spear and kill that Squirtle. Boom. I said I love how Night Spear used to be like a totally, definitely tier one attack. Like there's this total dex. This dex entirely centered around Darkrai. And oh, what are you getting trying to kill here? Thunderous. You're not gonna be able to kill that. What are you doing? I mean, though, I would like him dead. <laughs> and so that's another reason why Super Cyclone would be awesome, because you can just pick things up, take all the damage counters off it, and get the energy in your hand, and you don't have to worry about it kicking around anymore. Yeah, I just realized Thunder says 210 HP. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, well, retreat for free. Night Spear. Does he even put another Squirtle on the bench? What's he doing with those, I wonder? Colorus, Skyla. Oh, none of this even really matters. Hmm. I wish, really wish I could be attacking with a Kangaskhan. <laughs> yeah, I really need to like pick up some stuff, maybe. Hmm. Like a, even a K Cassius or whatever. Is that how you say? Cassius? Cassius? The one that makes you being able to pick up one of your Pokemon and all cards attached to a thing. Basically a super, uh, super, super scoop up on a supporter. 90. It doesn't matter. I'll just... Can I take another hit? What's he going to be hitting me with? He might hit me with that if I manage to kill something else. Don't think I need a max potion yet, though. So we'll just Night Spear. Squirtle, take another prize. Boom. Uh, and I already used a Lysander, right? If I remember to grab the Pyroar. Yes, Lysander. That was definitely and decidedly a very dumb play. Uh, we could start attacking with uh, Umbreon to get through that, or we can just try and knock it out with this, but we might lose. Yeah, no, that's okay. Yeah, we'll just do that. Probably should have done that a couple turns ago, but we'll just attach. Uh, we'll just attack with uh, Hydreigon instead, because what's his nuts can't kill us now because we have the bonus HP. So wait, you have uh, Rainbow and two of those. Yes, you need. Oh no 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 no! Stop that! Stop that! Done. Retreat first. Now we can move energy. Okay, Dark Trance off the Dark Cry. Do we want to? Just in case that's Catcher Bait. Yeah, I, I might. Fuck. Yeah, might as well play that. Yeah. Good. All the damage off, and we'll go with Dragon Blast for 140. Bye bye, Pyroar. Okay, you're not selecting right. There we go. There we go. Three pies is left. See, so yeah, he's probably going to try and hit me for 150, which still is enough to kill me. So we can just turn around and start attacking with Darkrai again, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. Um, or do we just want to hit 140? It's not going to be enough yet. 150, that's fine. Retreat. We have a bunch of Team Plaza badges in our hand now. Look at this hand. Oh, hey, sweet. There's an umbrella off the prizes, so we have even more health. 240 on that Darkrai. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to retreat. Dark Trance onto Darkrai with just plain energy. Done. Night Spear. And we want to probably put damage on Kangaskhan because Reshiram can benefit from damage counters when we can't kill it. So, possibly a th oh, no, I was going to say three prize turn. What am I talking about? And Kangaskhan is way more than just 60 HP like those Squirtles. But things are looking a little bit better. Yeah, there's just 150. No, nothing really else that can really take us out. He has to deal 90, which is unlikely with the Comet Punches, so we're okay there. Do we want to Skyla for anything? Not really. Let's just keep this giant hand size that we're not using. <laughs> and 30 onto you. Boom, another two prizes. Hmm. Yeah, that uh, Giga Frost early on was quite painful, <laughs> to say the least. Okay, uh, oh, hmm, Plasma Curum. Interesting deck he's got here. Not quite sure if I agree with all the choices, but that's fine. Obviously, um, Flare, I don't sure what he's doing here. He didn't attach any energy? Okay. Uh, so yeah, this probably going to be another two attacks and we'll be fine. So let's just try and get this over with as soon as possible. Just like I said, there's just a point where it's like it's almost bad manners to your opponent if you just take time to ponder over these things and you're so far ahead. And obviously I can be doing better things. Yeah, there's the game. GG. We've been two prizes. So there's kind of an interesting example, but even though I didn't even attack with Kangaskhan at all, but it's like still just using... Team Plaza Badge and Umbreon just kind of makes some funny combinations for just health buffs on things that you would normally wouldn't think are there. Anyway, guys, I've been Handsome Monkey. I'll see you next time.